you can see with first Lego League just the, the, the engagement that, that these kids get from it. It's, it's a competition, but it's also about collaborating, having fun, those relationships, um, problem solving, um, and just even if things don't go your way, it's still, you still learn so much and get so much out of it. And you see the growth that these kids go through and it just, uh, it makes all of the hard work worth it when you see the smiles on those faces. Being a part of Green Stem's uh, activities, uh, it's, it means a lot. Like to have the opportunity to actually do it down in Bernie other, other than uh, like online classes and just online Zoom calls and whatnot, it, it's like, it's a big help. I've loved watching Mason progress with his STEM over the last few years. Um, he puts a lot of time and effort into everything that he does. It's been awesome that they've been able to participate in these programs right here in Burnie. The Green STEM Education as Tasmania's leading STEM education charity. We couldn't be any prouder than to bring world-class STEM education opportunities such as Green Power and First Lego League to Burnie and the Northwest Coast. Uh, our mission at Green STEM is to ensure that all young people have equitable access to the very best opportunities in STEM uh, and we're committed to seeing Burnie really take ownership of, um, of its reputation as a city of makers and take that into the 21st century. Being able to help and inspire others at Burning Community House uh, in the STEM Unlimited program, it's been really fun and just interesting to see how they've learnt over the course of since STEM Unlimited was uh, created in November of last year to now, which um, being able to bring people into the passion and love for STEM, yeah. It's been amazing to see the progress that Green STEM have made over the last 12 months or so since I've been able to get to know them. Um, bringing green power to um, not just Tasmania but Australia for the first time has been amazing and events like today don't just put Bernie on the map but they also put Northwest and all of Tassie um, on the map as leaders in not just STEM education but innovation in general and I'm super excited to see um, what Green STEM get up to over the next few months. It's really exciting times for them. Being a father of two daughters and working in, in the technology space myself, um, I know that uh, there's a bit of an equality issue um, in the STEM side, um, particularly as we're looking towards the future. So I saw STEM, um, Green STEM as an opportunity for me to get more involved at the grassroots level and start where girls are most impressionable and children are most impressionable is right at that early uh, primary level um, and uh, provide access to opportunities that I guess aren't really prevalent in society. So um, yeah, that was my motivation for joining Green STEM and you know, being able to be an active participant in that. So First Lego League is a great STEM competition um, to get students involved in science, technology, engineering and math um, and developing those skills and innovation, um, opening them up to career opportunities and building their confidence in that space. Um, being able to solve real world problems um, such as in ocean exploration this year has been great to understand the world around us and develop it and improve it every day. Uh, First Lego League also opens up some great opportunities for students to build new friendships and make connections with people all around the world if they get the chance to, to extend further beyond regional competitions and also show gracious professionalism. Woo!